Hi Second Life, it's Kitty O'Toole here. Good to see you. I'm going to do a short video today. I'm just showing off my skybox because I'm all set up for Christmas. <gasps> Look how lovely it looks. Yay! Yeah, I'm just going to do a very short video um, to tell you about a skin that I have fallen in love with and I think you might fall in love with too. Although not when she's looking like that, because it ain't resin properly yet. Come on. There we go. Look at that lovely face. Okay, no hair on uh, myself at the moment, and I warn you now, there's going to be nudity. I'm going to take this bodysuit off in a bit so that I can show you exactly what this skin is like underneath the covers but first of all I'm going to change to a better wind light setting so that we can uh, have a look at all the details properly so full disclosure this is an Amara Beauty skin and her name is Jewel um, I'm a blogger for Amara Beauty and very proud to be one as well you might know Amara Beauty by their previous name which was Zool, um, or Zool, I never knew how to pronounce it, Z-O-U-L Creations. Um, the talent behind this brand is a lady called Shantia Soulstar, and she's absolutely lovely, really nice person, lovely to talk to, very accommodating, and incredibly talented as a skin designer. So, as you can see from my inventory, um, Jewel is available at the uh, Winter Solstice event and this is a catwear applier. It also includes, for me, I think you might have to buy these separately, the Omega body appliers. But as you can see there are 12 different skin tones. So what I thought we would do is have a little play about with skin tones and see what you think. Um, first things first though, let's get it out of the way. I'm wearing her on my Katwa Katia Bento head and obviously it's a head that I've managed to put to my perfect dimensions as is one's one with Bento um, and I think she looks beautiful I really do the skin fits very well over the framework I'm also wearing um, the Katwa mesh eyes and I just love the whole look to be honest um, playing about with expressions <laughs> never ceases to kill me that one to be honest and this one yeah same to you with knobs on kitty um, it just looks really nice on the visage on the face it looks lovely so tell you what I like about this skin the strengths one of the strengths in general about Amara Beauty skins the eyebrows I love the way Shantia does eyebrows. Now normally I go for a brow that's a little bit more sculpted towards this bit and then it tapers out. However, I really really like the brow that she's put on Jewel because it's, it's quite thick all the way through but it's not overpowering on the skin. The other thing that I always love as well are the uh, lip textures that she uses. The lips always look good when you zoom in. This one's also got a little bit of detailing around the eyes as well, which I kind of like. Moving on to the body, if, well, there's not much I can say other than it looks great. Um, the shading is exactly where shading needs to be. Naked time, whoop, and there's Kitty's bits. Um, I do like it when definition and shade is done well, and I'm pleased to say that definition and shade are done very well here. Um, the nipples look nice. So does this bit. The belly button looks perfect. It's a little inny. And one thing I notice about skins is if a skin's done well, the shading on the torso here, you don't tend to see thick lines. Everything seems to be blended in well. And that's the case here. It's blended in well. It looks good. Um, it's also really important to see the areas of highlight on a body. This is a telltale one for a quality skin. And it's it's marked out beautifully sometimes on skins it's not properly defined or the highlight is just too bright 
Um, the lady garden area, I'm not going to dwell on, but suffice to say, it does the trick. The knees are fine, the elbows are fine, the hands, I'm wearing Maitreya hands and Maitreya Lara body for this video. Everything's good. And if we look from the rear, look at that peach of a bottom. That's really, really sweet. Again, well defined, shoulder blades are defined and highlighted perfectly. So it's the skin that you're going to be able to wear without any issues. It's it's a lovely, lovely skin. So let's have a look um at a couple of the um colourways because I always wear my skins um in a in a pale kind of tone. Sometimes I'll wear tan, but it tends to be the paler tones purely because I'm not very imaginative. I'm I'm a pale person in real life. My um my dad's Scottish um, my mum's English and I've kind of inherited that, that Scottish gene where you get a hint of blue to your skin sometimes <laughs> in all seriousness I, ca I can't I've never been one, one of those people in Second Life that can kind of imagine myself to be something other than I am I'm not I have to have my kind of virtual foundation based in my virtual reality or my actual reality that's the right way to put it so yeah I, I can't I can't think of myself as as any other kind of skin tone or or anything to what I actually am. Um, to my detriment, I think, as I'm going to prove to you when I show you how beautiful some of the skin tones are in this skin. Because it's um, Omega body appliers, you're going to need an Omega relay or Omega. Um, you can get those from the marketplace, no no problem. They're about 99 Lindens a pop. So. I'm just going to go into my inventory and find my relay, find out where I've put it. I've put it somewhere safe, which means I'm not, I don't know where I've put it. I should have had this ready, really. So, nil point to me. Okay. Where? That's just going to sit up there. I'll go back and reload the Amara Beauty Skins. Okay, so... Another thing that I really like about Shantia and Amara Beauty, I do like the hoods that she provides to um, the skins. So, here you have hands, feet and body. So you've got all your options clearly denoted there, so you just need to choose. I'm wearing Lara, so obviously I'm going to go for the Maitreya options. So let's try um, a deeper tone than what I'm wearing. So let's go for a number six. So I'll apply that all over and I'm going to go in here I'm going to go to dual number 6 Catwa applier I'll just move this out of the way and this is the hood you see when um, you load up your choices for the uh, dual face and you get all these different brow options plus a no brow option I'm going to go for this one let the magic happen and just look isn't she stunning see this is what I mean about I only tend to wear the skins that are close to my own skin colour but I'm doing myself a disservice because the tone on this is beautiful if anything mm, it's probably better than the pale isn't it it's stunning I love the way that this skin looks in this shade I love the brow. Shantia, you did an amazing job with the brow. It's absolutely stunning. She really is a bit of a corker, isn't she? Let's try a couple of different brow options. So this one is obviously... Oh, paler. Wow, I think I like that even more than the, than the dark one. What do you think, guys? Gosh, she's beautiful, isn't she? She is so pretty. Let's try this one as well. This is one of the best parts about Second Life and Avatars playing dress up. That one looks really good as well. I got a little bijou hint out of uh, Gigi Hadid there. Did you get that as well? It's a little bit. It's kind of wearing off a bit now. Okay, let's try it with the gingery brow. That looks good. That looks very good. And the blonde.
again that looks fine doesn't it the detail on the brow is just perfect it's exactly what you want from a skim I think this one's the best one though oh she's she's um I think the word I'm looking for here guys is ravishing what do you think she's so pretty so shall we try it in a different colour I will remove this hood let's go for the darkest tone that Amara Beauty offer for Jewel if you can hear a tippy tappy tippy tappy in the background apologise it's my doggy okay so let's get the body appliers up and again we're going to go for number 12 on hands feet and body so 12 12 12 let's see what this looks like I'm quite excited Oh wow. That's really lovely, isn't it? What a beautiful colour that is. And the nice thing about this skin is it's obviously going to make such a good base for makeups. Right, let's try that one with that brow. I'm really loving that brow at the moment. Oh, just look at her. Oh, you're sickeningly gorgeous. How beautiful is that? Let's try, just for devilment, a lipstick on her. There's no makeup palette with this skin. Um, that's fine though. I'm using the uh, Catwa ones and there's plenty of places you can get appliers from. So let's try a red. Oh, so pretty. Oh, we can blend that and make it darker or lighter, of course. Oh, it's really special, this skin, isn't it? And that colour really pops on her lips. Wow. Oh, I love that. That's Christmas party style. Very, very pretty for parties. I'm loving it, guys. Um, let's have a look what else we can have a play with. I normally don't do the eyeliner because I usually struggle to, to apply it for some reason and change the colour of it. See, I have absolutely no idea how to change the colour of that. I know it's there, I just don't know how to do it. Yikes. Oh, let's get rid. It's distracting from the uh, gorgeousness that is Jewel. I kind of wish that Shanti had done some makeups for her because it's such a pretty skin. There are skins in store um, at her main location where she's done uh, makeup palettes for them and honestly they really are something else. Um, I've loved her skins for a couple of years now and um, I think 2016 really has been her year because she's gone she's just created some really st stunning skins um, I think a couple of my favourites is one's called Priya and there's one called Lucy and I've absolutely relished wearing those two this year so um, if you feel like going to the store and checking them out I really do recommend it the other good thing about um, Amara Beauty is that the skins are not very expensive at all by comparison to some of the uh, what you would say are top brands in Second Life. They're very reasonably priced for what you get and the quality of them. I I really do genuinely think that Amara Beauty are up there with Belletza and Glamifer, um and Pink Fuel as well. I mean, a lot of people would be like, mm, are you sure about that? But yeah, I absolutely totally am because I think the skins are so easy to wear and they're so effortless and chic and pretty and I would recommend them to anyone and not just because I blog them but because I like them okay so let's take that lipstick off shall we try one more skin tone I think we should so lipstick clear I love her without any makeup on she's just so pretty so I'll take this one off Let's go for a complete contrast and go to the absolute palest one that 
she does in this range. So again, we'll get the uh, body applier out there. This is going to be a real contrast. Okay, so one, one, one. Yikes! There's pale and interesting, and there's pale and interesting. Oh, this is pale and interesting. Okay, I tend to go for number two or number three, but wow. Okay, guys, if you want to be an ice queen for Christmas or Yule, here's your skin. Wow, that's stunning. I don't think I've known to do one this pale before. Correct me if I'm wrong, Shantia, but this is pale. Oh, it's beautiful. What do you think? Let's put a bit of lipstick on. Because she's got a bit of a goth look to her. Let's put a deep shade on. Oh god, I really like that. I really like that. Oh. Look at you. You look stunning, girl. Let's try black like my heart <laughs> oh if you're um, a goth in second life and you're looking for a new skin I think I've just found one for you this is a bit of a corker isn't it yeehaw just look so beautiful let's try the shade oh we've had that one okay let's try that one the possibilities are endless. That's it's an amazing look. It really is. Let's go for a red. Wow. Wow. Stunning. What do you think? Uh, wow. <laughs> I think as skins go, um, I think all the boxes are ticked with this particular uh, girly. I think she's stunning. And congratulations, Shantia, on creating Jewel. She's absolutely wonderful. And I can honestly say I don't know which shade to pick her in because she's absolutely ravishing in every single one. You could do something seriously frost queeny dress up kind of thing couldn't you with this skin it is stunning so there you go that's jewel by amara beauty find her at the winter solstice event and she's in 12 amazing shades and she's omega compatible and guys i really do think you ought to give her a go all the best speak soon bye bye